Okay, uh, viewers, beautiful viewers, we're here at Westfield, the Tokyo Monument of course, where we have the youth uh, monument as it is called. We are fortunate to be with the European ambassador to the Gambia. What do you make of this? I want to check you very, very good. First of all, I want to take the debate to you. On the other hand, I also want to congratulate the people, the Gambian people, because over the past 23 years there were lots of atrocities. responsible for international cooperation and development uh, came here to Banjul early February, we could express how much we want to assist the Gambia. You know, it's a, uh, ever since this new government came into being, we have seen the support of the European Union. Now, the people of the Gambia demanding for justice from the government. How is the European Union helping in that process to make sure so justice is brought to the table of those needs? First of all, uh, we started a completely new cooperation with the government. We are engaging in all different fields of issues. And on the top of that, of course, we are doing programmation of different development assistance. And this is done in cooperation with the government. So whatever is the government priority in whatever development in the country, that is going to be the priority for the European Union as well. What is good is that with the new government and the democracy, we can also use some other instruments, which was just impossible to use in the previous regime because of the human rights concerns and concerns over the democratic rights. Now, this is changing now, we are delivering a devastating attacks to support the government. The government will also receive monetary support to look after the most important aspects of stabilization and One may begin to wonder, you've just said it yourself, the lot of atrocities that were that took place in the Gambia. What may begin to wonder, what was the European Union doing all along, knowing that these things actually happened in this country? Well, I cannot tell you exactly what any of the charged affairs were doing 10, 15, 20 years ago. What I can tell you is that they raised the issue continuously with the government. Some of them got ENG. Some of them got, uh, became personal and got expelled by uh, Jame. So that also shows the, the depth to which they were standing firm in terms of human and basic rights. Of course, in terms of human and basic rights, the Gambian people are hope, so hopeful of the European Union because they have seen the support, like I said, so far. Uh, quickly, before I let you go, what would you have to tell to the Gambian public right now watching regarding European Union's efforts in making okay. justice go away. Go away. Go away. What I would say, first of all, to maintain the uh, patience they maintain so far. Joko Monument, or they will say the Youth Monument, I should say, here at Westfield, where uh, scenes are still happening. We've seen various speakers uh, uh, giving speeches regarding uh, some of the issues uh, regarding this particular event. Now we can see, of course, some youth trying to give a, a rap regarding it. You can see Killer Ace, of course, on stage. Killer Ace is among the youth who are here to 
Gracie's occasion. Will come on stage and oh yes, you guys. absolutely. Okay, Killer Ace will come on stage. He's already on stage. We can see him. Uh, there he is. Oh, he's just about to take the mic. Uh, people have, of course, well, praised well, him for showing uh, uh, utism because uh, Kinesh is one of those artists who were very critical of the former regime. That led to him and his uh, fled to, of course, Senegal because uh, he was afraid of his life. That that is the reason. Are you hopeful that uh, future will be delivered to the people who deserve it? My biggest optimism is uh, justice. I hope justice is served. And, uh, it is a great sense of optimism. I am saying. Thank you very much. Of course, that was uh, Mohammed sending uh, the, uh, the son of the, the son of the late Solo sending, who is among the crowd here to commemorate.